Welcome to Blessed Sacrament Parish for the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The opening hymn is The Church's One Foundation. Please stand. The Church's One Foundation is Jesus Christ her Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her for me. For her life he died. He lacked from every nation, yet one o'er all the earth, a charter of salvation, one Lord, one faith, one one holy name as she blesses, our takes one holy food, and to one hope she presses with every grace. Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, all of you. God invites us to enter into communion of love with him in this Eucharist, what anticipation of the heavenly banquet. God is very generous with his gifts his graces, his love, and his forgiveness. For times and moments, we fail to accept God's love, fail to share the gifts with others. We ask for God's mercy. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to lasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. On earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You Lord of the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands on your sacred law, upon love of you and of our neighbor, rendered by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked his thoughts. 
Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God, who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, say the Lord. As high as the heaven are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is near. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, life is Christ, and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. And I I do not know which I choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life to be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard, going out about nine o'clock. 
landowner saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, you two go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off, and he went out again around noon, and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going about, out about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. Then those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden and the heat. And he said to one of them in reply, My friend, I'm not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or I am not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, our parish youth ministry had a small fundraising car wash. Wasn't well advertised, perhaps, but uh, the number of cars they got still, they received much more than what people would usually pay at a regular car wash. You can think of doubling the amount. And people who came to uh, car wash, they did so, not necessarily to have their car washed, but to support the worthy cause, in this case, youth ministry in the parish. We are, as people, very generous. As a nation, we are very generous. And that perhaps comes from the fact that uh, we've received much and we want to share, we want to give back to others, to the world. But sometimes we forget how much we have received from God. And the value of what we receive from God is infinite because it's spiritual. It's grace. It goes beyond this world, beyond any, any accounting. God is not a bean counter. God lavishes his graces in the most generous way. Today's gospel reading, the parable, Jesus reminds people that God is very, very generous. And he wants to give equally anyone who would be willing and, and able to receive his graces. So today, at this very moment, we are at the receiving end, receiving graces from God. Each time we come to Mass, it is God who showers his graces upon us. This is the moment of grace. This is the moment of God's special presence in our midst. He speaks to us 
through the readings, especially the gospel, that this inspired word of God is alive. It speaks to our hearts. If we open our minds and hearts, we will hear what God is telling us today. And then it's a conversation. So we reply at the first part of Mass, Liturgy of the Word, we reply with petitions, prayers of the faithful. We are the faithful. We pray back to God. We present our own needs and we pray for needs of the church and the world and anyone who is in any way affected and in need of prayers. Then God invites us again to present something to him which we are limited in presenting for we bring the gifts to this Mass. We bring gifts of bread and wine, of any offer that we want to leave with the church. We bring our own lives and our own story and our own aches and pains and, and we kind of hope that God will bless us and, and, and heal us and transform us and elevate us and lift us up. And so he does. And God accepts our limited meager offering and he transforms he touches it like with a grace filled wand and he changes it through God's grace into the living presence of himself in the Eucharist this is the most precious gift that God gives us the Eucharist the real presence. We live now in very challenging times, difficult times, times full of uncertainty, fears, anxieties. We don't know how it's going to end up. Uh, we do know that um, we are far from end. The end is not yet in sight. There are some promises of some cures and medicines coming and to fight the coronavirus. Well, it's going to be a while. This is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So we have to brace ourselves and put our trust in God who comes down from high heaven to be with us, to walk with us, to encourage us on our pilgrimage of faith. For God is very generous. And even if we come to him at the last hour, whether it's at the deathbed or maybe we don't really turn our hearts yet, we don't, we, we, we're not ready to make spiritual preparations yet, God is patient and waiting. And he says, well, perhaps some people need more prompting by more natural disasters and, and more sickness and, and more darkness and, and, and uh, more evil and eventually they will turn around. That's the hope of God. For God waits for us to ask Him to help. He will not force His way. The world is broken, clearly. The world is being submerged in darkness but there is hope and there is light. And for people of faith, there is a long-term perspective, way beyond this temporary experience. So we put our faith in Jesus. We continue to pray. We have a great opportunity to pray in this parish now with Eucharistic adoration. We just open an overnight one day a week so far. So we started on Wednesday morning after morning Mass. So from 9 a.m. all the way through Wednesday, all the way through overnight until Thursday, and all day Thursday evening till 11 p.m. We have ongoing Eucharistic adoration. 
So you're welcome to come at any time, day or night, at the time, and spend some time with Jesus. We also have another day open now, Tuesdays, for sign-ups. We'd like to expand it. For this is a perfect way for us to grow in faith and to grow in trust, grow in love, for we will need any help we can get in the weeks and months to come. Jesus tells us today, come to me and I will give you rest. I will refresh you. I will give you any grace that you need. I will not cheat you. I will give you with overabundance. Just come to me first. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified with the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. Rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life the world to come. Amen. Putting our total trust in the generous God, we present him now with our prayers and petitions. For the church, that we may strive always to conduct ourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ, we pray to the Lord. For political leaders at every level, that they may be compassionate to those who are most vulnerable, including the preborn and the aged, to those who have been overlooked or forgotten. We pray to the Lord. For those suffering the devastating fires in California, the flooding from the hurricane in Upsali in Alabama and Louisiana, that they may find shelter and food in the days ahead and know of our prayerful support and concern for their well-being. We pray to the Lord. For those who work in the fields, on farms and in vineyards, harvesting the food we eat, that they may be rewarded generously for their labor, we pray to the Lord. I hear our prayer. For God's blessing on all children, especially for Salvatore Matteo Shaden, baptized this Sunday at our church, we pray to the Lord. I hear our prayer. For those who have died, Helen Ding Dingboom, and especially for Donna Eddy, for whom this Mass is offered, may they enjoy the embrace of our loving and merciful Father, we pray to the Lord. Amen. For our parish faith community, that they may invite and welcome others at all times with the generosity modeled by the landowner in today's Gospel, we pray to the Lord. Amen. We give you thanks, we bless your name, and we ask you to always accept our prayers according to your holy will through Christ our Lord. Amen.
dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands and bring the glory of his name. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people. With what they profess with devotion and faith, may be theirs through this heavenly mystery, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a re remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life, and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have called us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, the order of bishops and all the clergy. Remember also your brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and the with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. What in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you, not our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious to grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace, the Lord, be with you always. With Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, you should enter under my roof. On this day the word my soul shall be healed. What do you want of me, Lord? Where do you want me to serve you? Where can I sing your praises? I Your spirit stirs. 
I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously rise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, a Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Now for the few parish announcements. There is a Parish Faith Formation Parent Meeting for grades K through 4 this Sunday, September 20th at 10 a.m. in Father Cotter Hall. Expanded Eucharistic Adoration continues on Wednesday and Thursday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Additional time slots are available on Thursday and overnight between Wednesday and Thursday. If you would like to sign up, call or email Father Matt. Our Parish Prolix Barbecued Chicken Dinner is coming Saturday, September 26th from 4 to 6. Pickup is outside the Parish Center, that's the Blue Building, with pre-sale tickets only. The Diocese of Buffalo invites you to learn about our new Road to Renewal initiative. As we look to renew our church mission and ministry, please see our bulletin or the Diocesan website for details on how to participate in, the, in this innovative through our in, in, initiative through our online survey, written options, in our local Zoom session, which will be held on Thursday, October 1st from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Cardinal Hera High School will be holding an open house on Thursday, October 1st, Friday, October 2nd, and Sunday, October 4th. They will also be holding a virtual open house on Tuesday, October 6th. All middle school students are welcome. Registration is required, so visit the bulletin or visit cardinohara.com for more details. As always, read the printed parish bulletin, see Facebook, the website, and email updates from Father Matt for additional information and details. And thank you for supporting our parish fundraising, the chicken barbecue. I believe um, there's someone supposed to be here after Mass. If anyone wants to buy a ticket, last possible chance to buy a ticket today and tomorrow after Masses. 
And one of the announcements mentioned a new diocesan initiative, uh, diocesan restructuring, renewal. Um, check the email I sent to all 300 people, and also there will be more announcements uh, tomorrow at Masses. There is a diocesan website on it. There is a video message from Bishop Schaffernberger. And you may remember two decades ago, Journey 2000, a decade ago about uh, Journey of Faith and Grace. So this is uh, something in a similar uh, fashion coming rather quickly with the next few uh, weeks or months um, to the Diocese of Buffalo. So uh, we're going to all pray and um, hopefully find a, a way that um, will make all the churches stronger and better entire church of the Diocese of Buffalo. The Lord be with you. May your mighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go so in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah.